get my shoes and out the door. Five, I'm alive. Six, seven, eight, feeling great. Now I'm gonna shine. Life is good. I'm doing fine. And gonna do it right and do it again. Yeah. I look into the sky with all the beautiful color, but there's more than just for me. So gonna share it with another. I got to show to give. Let me how to evaluate the anterior chamber. Step one, find the patient. Me, 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 me. So first things first, I'm gonna disinfect the slit lamp. Okay. <laughs> Patient, do you mind putting your chin and forehead against the machine, please? And take off your glasses, Daddy. Just like that. Okay. <laughs> okay, ready? Place your chin and forehead against the machine. Okay. Take off your glasses. Okay. Okay, so I'll be evaluating the anterior chamber by using the Van Herrick technique. So I have this lint lamp here at 60 degrees, magnification at 16, the optic section near the limbus. So this is going to help me determine if she's a grade 1, 2, 3, or 4. The purpose of the Van Herrick technique is to determine the space between the cornea and also the iris, to see the outflow of the aqueous humor from the posterior chamber to the anterior chamber. Grade 0 is basically closed angle glycoma, and then there's grade 1, 2, 3, and 4, which determines the risk for the level of glaucoma. Okay, so these are our grades. We want to uh, have a grade 4 where the chamber is equal to or greater than the corneal optic section. There's a picture right here. Um, Grade 3 is where the chamber is uh, a quarter to half of the size or the width of the corneal optic section. And grade 2 is when the chamber is a fourth of the corneal optic section. And when we get to grade 1 or grade 0, we don't want to dilate because, it, because the angle is so small, if we dilate, it will just close the angle completely. And we don't want that. So grade 4 is when it's uh, less than half of the, uh, I'm sorry, less than a quarter of the corneal optic section and grade zero is when it's closed and that's when we have um, no bueno, you know, glaucoma. So these are your grades. Next we will evaluate the anterior chamber for any flares or cells which can be indicative of any inflammation. It is also graded um, on zero, trace, one, two, three, and four. So we'll start with the magnification at 16. We'll make a horizontal cut in the axis. And we will examine the anterior chamber. Have the patient blink a couple times to see if there are any movements in the cells. Cells and flares are graded in this scale. You, have, you want to see a grade zero, so you have no cells and no flares. Anything past that kind of starts to show when you tell the patient to blink a couple times. So you don't want to see four because that is a lot and after three you're just, just too much to go. The illumination should be off, but in this case, it is not. <laughs> Oh, you're ready, you're good? Okay, so... Perfect! <laughs>